Hello everyone, this is Travis Grady with the Craft Academy and I will be your host for the math cha my, the math challenge. Now you will be opening up the single player world that will already be ready for you guys so let's get right down to business. First, this is the first problem and it deals with a surface area and volume. It's our geometry problem. So first you gotta find the total volume of this house. Of course, I'm not going to tell you what the answer is. You guys are going to be figuring that out by yourselves in the challenge. Then once you're done, take your path all the way over here to the right. And you will see a little sp blank space. You're going like, well, why isn't everything there? Because now you're going to create a house with the exact same volume, but with a different surface area. And the surface area is the combined area of all the sides. And the volume is the amount of space that's within that um, space shape. Next, we have our bar chart challenge. This is statistics and some algebra. So now what you're going to do is you're going to create a ch bar chart using the following tools. Clues. And there's five different clues and five different materials, as you can see in this chest. You'll be using these five materials to construct a bar chart of certain lengths depending on the Clues, again, I'm not going to give it away. Next, the algebra part of the challenge. In the algebra part of the challenge, what you will be doing is using certain blocks to represent certain tiles. Al basically, they're algebra tiles, but in Minecraft. So the first one is blue but sets of blocks. They represent x. Green sets of blocks represent integers. Like, if there's five green blocks, there's five it equals 5. And then a 5 by 5 set of red blocks equals x squared. So, quadratic equations, basically. Now, the same goes for ones in the ground, but that then they're negative. So, a blue block in the ground ne represents negative x. One, a green block in the ground represents negative 1, and, and 5 by 5 in the ground represents a negative x squared. Now, here are the challenge. Here are the problems. I'm not. I'm going to give you a really quick look. Now, the challenge for this one is to f write down the equation, place it there. There's a sign in the chest, and then solve for x. Place your answer here. Put your sign in the chest. Once you're done, advance through the doors. <coughs> for this one, you'll notice the room is empty. That's because you're going to be creating the algebra problem with the equation that is right here. All the required blocks are in the chest. Next. Now we have a little bit trickier problem because all these problems progress in terms of difficulty. So the one at the beginning was the easiest and the one at the end is going to be the hardest, which is a quadratic equation. So next we have this problem. Again, I'm not going to tell you what it is, but you have to simplify the equation on the ground. Enter, enter there with a sign. And finally, again, nothing in here. Why? Because you're going to be creating an, a quadratic equation and then simplifying it. And yes, this does have a solution. It has two solutions. So make sure you remember that. So what are the benefits of doing this challenge? Well, it... Definitely involves a lot of math. It allows a t allows definitely a ton of algebra for this. You're going to need to know some algebra. Basic for most of it. Except for the last one. That's quadratic. That's tricky. So we will be there to help you just in case you don't remember a term or something of that sort. Other than that, that is all you're going to need to know to complete this challenge. I wish you good luck. This is Travis Grady, and I will see you... At, I will see you there.